Hi, right, welcome to another Absolutely Improvised monologue. My name is Paul Burrell. I'm the monologist. Absolutely Improvised. So just to kind of catch up, if you're new, uh, people send me one-word prompts. You can send them here. Find me on Facebook, whatever. I'm pretty easy to find. Uh, and then I do a monologue. It's There's no uh, editing. There's no preparation other than taking that one word. The character is uh, a West Side guy called... Uh, Pork chop Contel. Contel is a uh, derivation of my grandfather's name. He was Emilio Cantalancio, but in Ellis Island, they changed his name to Contel. Uh, and pork chop is that's just me. Um, so these are fictional. I know a lot of people have questions. They're fictional. I don't have a wife. Uh, don't have a kid named Pork Chop Junior. Don't have a daughter named Gail Junior. Uh, but we are working on The Gospel According to Porkchop, which will be a collection of these uh, stories and things. And uh, 2021 is going to be the year of the pork chop. So uh, my vegan friends, my vegetarian friends, make peace with it. So the prompt is down there. Uh, and here we go. So when you get to a certain age, you don't really feel like the need to have to, you know, prove nothing no more, you know. Now me, I got married a number of years before that age, but I didn't care because I had the greatest wife on the planet Earth ever, right? Gail was the best woman any man could ever pray to associate with. She had everything you could ever want. She was gorgeous. She could stop traffic. She was gorgeous. She was smart. I mean, she read books and books and books. Never once did I see a picture in them books. She helped Junior, poor chap Junior, get his uh, grades good. Also, the girls which is ironical because later he realized he didn't like the girls, but he was still smart. You can't take away the smarts. Sometimes we grow up different than we thought we were going to grow up, right? Like you think you're going to grow up and do this and do this and do this, and then you wake up and you go, oh, I ain't going to do that. But while you were growing up, you got smart. You can't take that away, so he's going to be smart. He got a nice Cuban boyfriend. They live in New York. God bless them. They're happy. Uh, they were, they're, they're dancers. They dance they, you know, on, on the stage and stuff. Um, she helped Gail Jr. with her homework. Gail Jr. is uh, probably going to be a senator someday because she's brilliant like her mom. But here's the thing. At the end of the day, you got this lovely wife. You got these lovely kids. You got Twinkies and old style. So the God is in his heaven. But you kind of want something a little bit more. And you know what it is you want a little bit more? You want to put on Judge Judy, sit on the couch next to your wife, and snuggle. Snuggle like a buggle. I know that I'm a tough guy. Or at least people think I'm a tough guy. Maybe I am a tough guy. I know when I have to be a tough guy, I can be a tough guy, but I ask it other than kick in case I need to really be a tough guy. But I really don't. I really do pull out the tough guy hat. Normally, I'm just me. You know, I go to work. And you know me, I work at the factory. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom. I'm the union steward. I'm a good guy. Right? I helped my parents move down to Alabama because they didn't want to be here for the winters no more. Anyway, I digressed. When you snuggle with your wife, there's nothing like that in the world, man. The, the closest thing is a Pequot's pizza. But after Pequot's pizza, nothing is better than snuggling with your wife. Because she knows how to touch you and where to touch you. And I don't mean that in a dirty way. Get your mind out of turlet. I'm talking about touch your heart, touch your neck, tickle your whiskers. You just snuggle, man. And I tell you what, you know, Judge Judy is, is on, you know, for background noise. I just want to snuggle with my gail. You know, I say, poor chap junior here, take the car, go for a drive and do something. He said, Dad, I'm only 12. I said, then drive slow. Gail Jr., she don't come out of her much anyway, except to go on dates with boys that I don't like. 
but she keeps the boys in line, so it's good. Hope she ain't snuggling yet. But if she is, she is. Anyway. So, you know, Gail's been gone a couple of years now, and, 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 I, and I do miss the snuggle. I miss the snuggle. Um, you can't really snuggle with a Twinkie. Uh, I've tried. Uh, I did snuggle with a Slim Jim once. Not the kind you break into cars, but the kind you eat. But I got grease all over my jersey. So um, I'm thinking it might be time. Uh, I never thought in a bazillion years I would say this. But I'm thinking about, I even feel guilty talking about it. I just want to be snuggled. I want to be snuggled by somebody who knows how to snuggle me. Or else have the kids come home for the weekend, put on the Disney Channel. Because when the Disney Channel's on, they think they're nine. They can snuggle with me on the couch. We can all eat Twinkies and have an old style. Nothing says loving like a little bit of snuggling.